I says Eugene Panrutkovich on the laptop screen doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. And today we're going to replace a cracked laptop screen on a Dell Inspiron 1525 laptop computer. Okay, in order to get to the screen, we have to remove first the plastic frame surrounding it. And in order to remove the plastic frame, we have to remove some screws. So the tools that we're going to use for this job are, is a small electronic screwdriver with a pH 0 bit and a larger pH 1 bit, a pair of sharp metal tweezers, an X-Acto knife, and sometimes we need some sort of prying tool. In this case, I use a guitar pick, but there's custom prying tools, and you can also use just a kitchen spreading knife. That will work also. All right, uh, so the first thing you need to do is remove the rubber feet from where the screws are hiding. So I took the liberty of removing most of the rubber feet, and I left just one to show how to remove it. We use an X-Acto knife to take it off and I usually like to stick it right next to it so I don't lose it. So next we have to remove the six screws holding the plastic frame. So we start one by one. Sometimes at the top there's one captive screw but we'll take care of that when we get to it. So there's two right here. Okay, this might be the captive screw, but we don't know yet. Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. Keep going, and nope, this is not the captive screw. What I like to do with different sets of screws is keep them in a pile so you can keep track of them as you're taking the laptop apart. So this is the fifth screw. It's coming off. And we might have found our captive screw. So if it doesn't come off, it's a captive screw. So you leave it on. And now the sixth screw. Let's get this thing off. Okay, so we have our pack. So next, we need to remove the plastic frame around the screen. So what I like to do for this is go with my fingernails on the screen side and start slowly lifting it up. If you hear snapping sounds, that means you're doing good. Just keep moving. And you can see the captive screw stays in there. That's why it's called a captive screw. All right. Be careful not to break the frame. Go slowly. I feel some adhesive on the bottom, so I'm going to go a little bit slower so not to damage things. And this one's giving me a little bit of trouble, so I'm going to see what's going on. There we go. I feel that the adhesive was extra strong. We mixed up a batch of extra strong adhesive that morning somewhere in the industrial heartland of China. Okay, and the plastic frame is off. So now we see the screen assembly. Now this is a little bit older laptop. So this is when the screens had a CCFL light, cold cathode fluorescent light, and that had an inverter circuit. For most laptops, the inverter circuit is a separate part of the, than the screen, but with Dell laptops, it's part of the screen. It's attached to the screen itself, so we have to keep that in mind. Uh, I'll talk about more about this later on. It's kind of important. But for now, we need to remove the screen from the metal brackets on the side and there are some screws holding the screen. So let's see if we can get to the screws and we can get to two of 
three of the screws, but not the bottom one. So the trick I like to use is loosen this hinge screw a little bit, and same on the other side. That will allow us to tilt the screen forward a little bit more, so we can get to the screw on the bottom that's holding the screen in. So we have one, and there's four screws on each side. So let's go one by one. Once again, I'm keeping them in separate piles. Three, and four. So we got this side loose. And I'm going to go to the other side. Now, you need to keep the screen tilted back a little bit so when you loosen up all the screws, the screen just doesn't pop up front because there's some connectors in the back that we don't want to damage. Okay, there's one. Two. Three, four. Okay, the screen should be free now. Next job is to try to tilt the screen forward so we can see what's going on in the back. So this laptop doesn't have a webcam, so we don't have to worry about the webcam cable. So we tilt the screen forward. And we have two connectors, basically one here. Well, actually for Dell, we have to worry about three connectors. Usually when you disconnect this type of screen, you disconnect the screen connector here and the inverter cable connector here. But for Dell, we're going to do a little bit different. We're going to disconnect this cable here, lift up the adhesive, like so. And pull the connector back. And we're going to connect, disconnect the inverter connector like this. So when we remove the whole screen, it's going to have the screen and the inverter connector. Okay, let's. There's a couple of things that we have to know about Dell screens because they're a little bit different from screens from all other laptop computers, and they're not quite compatible. First thing you'll notice is if we can get a good focus here, it says attention locking connector. Dell screens have a slightly different type of connector with a couple of extra holes on the side where you can have uh, some locking clamps, kind of clamp-like thingies in there. So make sure that the screen you get has a locking connector. Now this cable does not have these little clamps, but most Dell older Dell laptops have these little clamps, so you got to be careful. If you do have these clamps, there's little buttons that you press in here to release the connector. So you can see they're black, and you just press them in to release the connector. All right, the next thing we've got to watch out for is that you're getting a Dell screen and not just a regular generic 15.4 inch WXGA screen. The way you know if you're getting a Dell screen is usually they have a they have an integrated inverter attached to the bottom. And you can also do this by model number. Let's see if we can get a good focus. Alright. We have B one five four EW02. If you type that in, make sure you can see a photo of the screen to make sure that you have this inverter on the bottom. Now, the problem is, if you just get a generic 15.4 inch WXJ screen, you can take the inverter out of the mounting bracket and just put it in, but the screen will not be as bright. It will be dim, and there's only going to be two brightness settings. So most of the time, that's not satisfactory. So to avoid this, to avoid this problem, Google Dell 15.4 inch WXGA screen or just Google the B154 EW02 and you should have something that comes like this. Now most of them will also have these mounting brackets on top 
and some won't so you don't care as much about those because you can take these off for put them on and the other thing to consider is the finish of the screen so Dell screens they about half and half half are glossy half are matte so if you specifically want type one and the other make sure it says so when you order the screen okay so that's all the information on Dell screens just remember Dell screens are not compatible with HP screens or Toshiba most of the time you can get a generic 15.4 inch screen and they'll go on a HP or a Toshiba or Acer and you're fine but not for Dell just remember that okay so once you do get your screen in reverse the procedure put everything back make sure you tighten these screws at the bottom so that your assembly is tight and just snap everything back in and reverse the procedure and you should be done and uh, once again my name is Eugene Panrutkovich I'm the laptop screen doc the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com okay thank you and good luck